Ladies and gentlemen, there are two industries which are focused on high speed and high tech. That is, on the one hand, the business of automotive hardware, and on the other hand, the business of traffic hardware. And here at the South by Southwest, uh, there's the best person to um, combine with me into this discussion, and that is obviously the CEO of NVIDIA, Jen Chang. Nice to see Welcome. you, Dieter. Thank you. Pleasure. Let's take a ride with the car to go. Wow, fantastic. Let's go. Okay. So. You have been in a CLA before? I haven't. This is my first one. Yeah. This is the SL Hardtop Automatic Convertible was my first gift to myself wow. when we took the company public. The car industry right now is building the most advanced computers the world has ever known. Uh, when you buy a PC, the PC is static. There's, it's not responding to the world and it's doing computing as fast as it can. And if it um, performs its task quickly, we're happy. If it performs its task not so quickly, we're fine. Yeah. However, if you put a computer in a car and all of a sudden this car has to understand what is happening in the world. I was pretty much surprised when even before autonomous driving, I learned that uh, there are a number of line codes in an S-Class is about uh, twice the numbers of line codes of the entire Android system. Yeah. yeah. I mean, quantity is not all what counts, yeah. but that was pretty amazing. And now, of course, as you rightfully are saying, with autonomous driving, it's uh, a multiple of that. That's right. It's a totally different dimension. The last video game I think I played was Pac-Man. Uh -huh. So um, tell me what are the latest trends there? Well, let's see. In the last 25 years, first of all, um, I started, I started the company with a couple of friends and we observed something that was very, very important and it remains true today. It's that, that, um, uh, that video games, this one consumer application uh, was going to be very, very popular at the time that it didn't exist at all. That the ability to play in a virtual world that is almost realistic and um, uh, that this video game industry would both be simultaneously very, very large and would require almost an infinite amount of technology. The video game uh, market and the drive for virtual reality has propelled our technology advance for 25 years. And as a result, this technology that we invented called GPU um, has been the fastest growing, fastest advancing technology the world's ever seen. The technology for creating virtual reality is almost similar to the, create, the technology for understanding reality. And so using the technology to understand reality, we were able to uh, essentially start the artificial intelligence revolution using computers to look through cameras and LIDARs and other sensors to understand and perceive what is the world around us. That's basically where the potential of uh, the two industries of us uh, working together comes to life. And that's how we met. The reason why we met was because we had um, uh, we were early pioneer in a technology called deep learning. Deep learning is a neural net technology that is a software that learns how to write software by itself. That's basically where the breakthrough for autonomous driving came from. That is the we huge breakthrough. Tried to do rule-based algorithms that never worked, and now with uh, deep learning, uh, we can uh, handle this uh, tremendous challenge of having cars become autonomous. Such a call. I think an important step in that is that uh, now we don't have to drive millions of kilometers anymore to experience all these situations, but that you even can simulate the environment, the ambience, to make that learning happen. Exactly, exactly. One of the powerful things about deep learning, deep learning can generalize information. So we can show it, um, we can show it, of course, hundreds of thousands of cars. And show it different angles of cars, different orientations of cars, different colors of cars, um, different cars and different lighting conditions. As a result of that, it generalized that this is what a car looks like. We're applying it to self-driving cars, which is one of the, the most complex problems. And it's, a, it's a super complex problem because, of course, the world is very complex. And to create the most safe car for the passenger. Um, situations can be very, very complex and it can be very new in fact and our car will still, because of the training that we gave it, because of the, the new algorithm of deep learning, 
uh, it can generalize and still recognize the circumstance and do the right things. Even though uh, the immune brain is still considerably more capable than this artificial intelligence, of course, it has uh, other strengths like uh, the speed of reaction, which uh, the human can't match. So we even can get results which are superhuman if you want. That's exactly right. And never gets tired, mm -hmm. never drunk. We only have eyes in front of us, but our car has radar, has LIDAR, yeah, yeah. right? We have all kinds of other sensors and, and using a texture fusion, we can create, in fact, a brand new mode of seeing the world. Yeah. And you can look around the corner because you knew uh, you get information by the map. We were at Daimler pursuing two visions for decades. The one is the vision of emission-free driving, and we're getting very close now with electric cars. And the other one is the vision of accident-free driving. Mm -hmm. That's where the autonomous cars and artificial intelligence will get us to, to realize that vision. Mm -hmm. Advancing artificial intelligence and the work that we're doing right now was, is likely to be the most impactful work that our company has ever made. We now have this technology of blockchains. Mm. Um, what do you think about the potential? Well, blockchains, blockchains um, at its core, it's about the ability of uh, fulfilling, tracking, ensuring the integrity of a transaction. And so as a result, we can, we can have very, very small transactions between people or very, very large transactions be between people. And each one of those transactions require a supercomputer. They are started in their commercial sense of transactions. I think it's now even related to data transactions and cybersecurity in this context. So that's, right. that's another aspect which could become very relevant for autonomous driving. And if I wanted to share my car with someone and I wanted to go directly to and fulfill that transaction, I can use blockchain in the future. And that, that transaction with a complete stranger will be very high integrity and um, it will be very low cost. Um, and so, so I think this um, uh, blockchain definitely, along with artificial intelligence, I would, I would say blockchain is surely one of the most disruptive technologies that we know of today. So Mercedes invented the car. 130 years ago. That is true. Mm -hmm. uh, with this tremendous change, which is driven by new technologies, we are basically in the area of reinvention of the car. And we think we owe it to our founders to be the ones who play a major role in this reinvention. Yeah, no question. 130 years later, we are absolutely reinventing the car. Yep. The car that um, uh, that you announced called the EQ, the EQ generation. Yes, yes. Uh, it's going to be a revolutionary car. Today, uh, you can't uh, succeed anymore without partnerships. And uh, that's the tech world, that's the automotive world, that's a merger about between these two worlds. And that's, I think, where, where all the excitement comes from and ultimately the success. And that's why uh, partnerships like between the two of us are so extremely powerful and important. So if it's a disruptive environment, it's much better we are than disruptors right. than anyone else. Well, that's and how revolutions are done. Absolutely. That's how you create disruptive revolutions. Okay. Yeah. Cars of the past, the car companies built almost completely by themselves. Yeah. But in order to create a car of the future, it's got to be connected to multi-dimensional maps in the cloud in every single country in the world. It's updated all the time. There's an enormous amount of software inside the car. Breakthrough artificial intelligence technology. Sensors surrounding it all over the place. And it's really about bringing artificial intelligence, not just for the sake of helping you drive automatically, but also to be your companion, to be in a co-pilot. Just as an airplane, you have a pilot, you have autopilot, but you have a co-pilot. Even when the autopilot is not driving, even when the car is not autonomous, your co-pilot is always watching out for you. And as a result, we bring artificial intelligence uh, into the car, and it's always persistent. And you talk to it very naturally. You know, we'll talk to, it, talk to the car like a friend. What do you think about South by Southwest um, as a convention, as a platform for exchanging these ideas? This is the conference for the digital, young, disruptive, revolutionary thinkers. 
it started out as a music festival, right? Music festival moved into digital arts. Like you started out in entertainment. That's right. And then now all of a sudden it's all about artificial intelligence. It's, I think it's a fantastic conference. They're competing with their human intelligence. And so I think it's very important uh, to have a, a broad discussion within society about all these questions. That's right. I have the best job in the world, just as you have. In what condition would people give you the opportunity to build something like a like the future car? And in your case, you, you get the additional benefit and the additional joy of influencing the industrial design and the features of car. And Highly emotional product. Yeah, it's just an emotional product. Yeah. I'm very grateful for that. That's for sure. That the car is going to be their most personal robot. Yep. This is going to be their most amazing artificial intelligence computer. This was fun. It was really fun. Thank you very much for Next doing time. that. Next time. I we think are. we should do it again, except the car should drive by itself. Let's that's do it. Let's it. make yeah, that a fine. mission. That's, that that's like that sounds like a good target. Yeah, that would be yeah. a great target. Let's make it happen anyways. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>